Well, as you're heading to work today, you may notice a new Albuquerque fire rescue unit driving around town. That's right. In it, a team of paramedics, but they won't be responding to emergencies. They're making home visits. News 13's Sarah Yingling joins us now from Fire Station 1 in downtown Albuquerque to tell us why and how this will benefit you. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Crystal. Well, 911 is a number that most people would only use for emergencies, but Albuquerque Fire Rescue says that's not always the case. AFR says there are some people in need of medical or social help who have a history of calling 911. With their new program called Heart, they're hoping to change that. It's completely opposite from the 911 call where we arrive, there's an immediate problem that has to be fixed. We're meeting with them in their home, trying to see where they feel their needs are unmet and work with them to achieve goals that they want to set themselves. Last year, Albuquerque Fire Rescue responded to over 100,000 EMS-based calls. That's about 85%. To make a dent in that number and reduce the number of non-emergency 911 calls, they've started HART, or Home Engagement Alternative Response Team. The HART program is an initiative of the uh, current mayoral administration. The idea spurred from programs up north. We did some ride-alongs with uh, Colorado Springs, who's got an extensive community EMS program. We also rode along with uh, Santa Fe. They now have their own team, comprised of AFR paramedics who are also certified community health workers. Their day starts by planning what patients they will visit. Patients are selected through AFR's database. And we try to look to see what, what type of things people are activating 911 for. Uh, and we also look at uh, how frequently they're activating. During the planned visit, the team's job is to evaluate the patient's situation and gather information in order to get them the most appropriate avenue of care. And they communicate with them, they engage uh, other care providers, other, their insurance providers, their primary care physicians, uh, emergency room physicians, uh, mental health providers, um, working with the uh, uh, police department's mobile crisis teams. The team will also help some patients prevent accidents before they happen by taking a look at their homes to make sure tripping hazards are taken care of. They will also help those with drug addictions by linking them up with services such as counseling or peer support in hopes of saving their lives before an overdose. Fire department's in a unique position that the community trusts us and uh, we want to build upon that trust and be able to help them so how does this benefit you? AFR says if they're able to get the number of non-emergency calls down, that means they'll have more resources to, available to respond to major calls like fires, car accidents, even heart attacks. Back to you. All right. Thanks so much, Sarah. AFR says they hope to see at least a 50% reduction in non-emergency calls over the next year.